Okay, so as promised, um, here's kind of a tutorial on how I make bird toys. And it's sort of in response to all the people who say that, oh, I want a parrot, but can't afford one. Well, there's a lot of people who will adopt out parrots, and all three of mine are adopted. And there are also people who will ask about, oh, how much do you spend on toys and food? Um, and I see responses in the hundreds and thousands, and honestly, it's nowhere near that, at least for me. So, these are Toby's toys. Um, if you haven't seen my other videos, Toby's my blue and gold macaw, and I think he's about eight or nine now. So, this is one that he came with, and basically all it is is a dog choke collar. And you can get these at dollar stores or pet stores. I'm sure you can probably find them at thrift stores, too. So, there's just a little bell on the end. Um, sometimes you can find these at pet stores, and they already come with stuff on them, like these giant beads of doom. So, that's what this one originally came with. So, what I do is I'll start off bringing one of these shoes on, and all it does is it just keeps it off that ring and gives some space. And I've also prepared a bunch of bits of cardboard, and this is from an egg carton. I love these. Um, these are in place of styrofoam for packing, and it's basically the same material as egg cartons, and Toby loves them. So these I've just punched holes in with scissors, and you can kind of see it there. And I'll just thread the chain in. So these are really quick and easy. And the way I did the cardboard was just put a few holes in with a drill as guide holes, and then I expanded it with a pair of scissors. If you're lucky and you have a drill bit that's actually large enough for what you need to do, great. Um, you can also add in things like rope. This is Cecil that I've tied in a knot. And usually he doesn't really seem to take a whole lot of interest in this, but I've seen other people's birds who really love it. And and I just put those in for spacers. Um, in this piece, you can kind of see the guide holes that I drilled. So there's two of them right there, and then I just opened it up with a pair of scissors. And eventually I'll figure out where the electric drill went. So I can use a larger drill bit, because the big one that I have doesn't fit in my Dremel. Um, if you don't have a drill or a drill bit and or can't afford one. You can probably ask a neighbor borrow one from a coworker or something. Um or some stores you could use scissors and that's what I used to do. But I find that you wind up fighting the cardboard because it creases in and folds in on itself and Having the guide holes is a lot easier. Um, you can see in the camera view that I have toilet paper tubes, and both Toby and my cockatiels love those. Um, the cockatiels like standing on them while they're shredding them. And it's a bit of entertainment. So there goes another bead. And just kind of fill this until it gets to the top. Sometimes he doesn't go through all of these carton things, and so I'll just take them off and rearrange them to put on another one. So, like, this is from the previous strand, and it's kind of gone through that. And he's um, whining in the background. So this is another one of his toys that has 
the toilet paper tube on it. So the way I do this is I just take this tube, squish it, and use a pair of scissors to poke a hole through. Um, please be careful with the scissors and what you have on the other side, like fingers or fancy tables. I usually do this on the floor on the carpeting and it's very forgiving. Um, so, oh, and then there's a bit of loofah. So these I get as a full tube thingy and I just use a steak knife to slice off a bit and string it on. So, um, he's getting mad. Mommy's going insane. Okay, so here's the other end of the first chain. So this is open, so I'll string it back on. And just take a pair of pliers and hold it on either side. And anyone who works with jewelry or does chain mail, as probably familiar with this, you just twist it. I don't know, I can't see that. Can and it should more or less come back to close. If it doesn't, just try pinching it back together. And there you go. I guess you can kind of see that. And the way I hang these, um, this one came with this sort of hook that you could just slip on and close, twist. And there's other options. This one came with this sort of closure. I personally don't like this one as much because it doesn't open as much wide. So I'm scraping off the enamel off the cage each time I put it on and off. Or there's this option of a carabiner. And this one I think I got at Home Depot. And they're pretty cheap. Um, I took a look at places like REI and sporting goods stores. It It's not worth the money for that. I mean, these are just cheap aluminum things. And um, I'm sure some birds are a little smarter and understand how to take these things apart. And, but fortunately, Toby hasn't figured that out, so his toys stay hanging, which is great. Um, so, other things I use for his toys is this. Um, it originated as a dog toy, but I think the manufacturers figured out people have been using these for bird toys, and they're great, because you can fit peanuts in them, and I don't have a peanut on me right now. Um, but I just shove them through. Um, I also put in almonds, and he gets them out just fine. And... I also have this. It's another dog toy. It's kind of squishy. It's great. I put in bread chunks and I also hang these from carabiners too. Um, so they just fit in like that. And it works. Keeps him busy for about 0.2 seconds. Um, and then he'll sometimes grab it and bounce it on top of his cage. And oops. Something for him to do. And the mop. He loves to shred this. This is also his napkin. He also likes to sit on it. And he'll also pull the fibers okay, through from the inside. And so it's something to do inside and outside his cage. So, okay. Before Toby gets mad at me further for chatting me to myself, I'll close this off. Hope that was Vaguely informative.